a little burned down black and tan. Toasted Virginias with mild Orientals. London, England. Found this tin and a uh, local tobacconist had been there for probably away for three to six years. Kind of a mix of darks and or blacks almost and medium brown. Virginia's and Oriental, that's my new favorite. I got, um, I bought them out after I tried this, I really liked it, and they had some uh, red and orange, and they had some brown and yellow. They had one brown and yellow, and they had five red and orange burn downs, and I bought all of them. They gave me a deal. They gave me, uh, they gave me, uh, what, buy four, get two free, because they've been sitting there for so long. We're going to smoke it in this here face pipe. It's a, uh, especially a Booth Choke one face pipe. And this one I actually uh, reamed out the shank at 5.30 seconds because it wasn't smoking very well. So I took uh, Tom's advice, Northwest Pipe Smoker, and reamed it out and it smoked. I smoked it once, I'm going to smoke it again. It smoked a lot better. Show you my, uh, let me show you my pipe, pipe restoring table. I got a couple pipes I'm getting ready to start. I'll show you those. And then I'm headed out to spend some time by the fire pit with my wife. Some good stuff though. If you can find some burn down. I suggest it smells like an English, but there's no lot of key in it at all. It's just the Orientals and the Virginia. It's really good. I really like it. It's a good, mild, mellow. And I don't know if that's the aging or if that's just the way this tobacco is. I don't know, but it's very good. Grab a campy, campy hammer. going to work tonight, 10 o'clock. Haven't been on here in a while. Got a new laptop. On Black Friday. sometime video. I looked this stuff up on uh, tobacco reviews, so it's pretty hard to find. I think I found it on one pipe uh, tobacco website. I can't remember which one it was. I found some, but I emailed uh, Pipe Scratch over there in Denmark. I thought this was made in Denmark. It's not some. Maybe I read on the other ten that said made in Denmark. But I'd email Pipe Scratch about this and see if he knew anything about it. Apparently I was smoking something else that day when I thought it was from Denmark. This stuff's from London, England.
I drilled it. Drill down into it, got it set in there, attached the drill to it, drilled down in there. I figured it would be pretty hard to drill, so I figured, you know, this briar is pretty hard, hard wood. It actually wasn't very hard, it actually went into the bottom of the bowl just a little bit. But, anyway, I hope everybody's having a good holiday season. Let's go over here and check out the pipe table. There's your mistress and the campfire. Got the old buffing wheel, um, pipe cleaners. I'm on my sandpapers. I do from anywhere from like 220, 500, 1000 to 1200. Got the kosher salt. Alcohol. Old containers. Old droppers. I uh, got Q-tips. <laughs> Q-tips in here. I got. Well, I got your reamer. Reamer shack. Um, extra fine. Um, Brillo. Red red pad. The brown. I uh, got wax. Wax heads. I got the white compound buffing up right here. Got the Carnuba. Got a lot of little uh, terry cloth towels. Uh, used toothbrush for scrubbing the pipes. I'm just kidding. Brand new. Uh, that for the uh, shanks, whatever, or the uh, stems when I'm bleaching them to cover up things. Brown compound, white compound. I need to give me some new brown compound. It was kind of dried out when I bought it. I got, you know, got your shank cleaners. Tightening up my buffing wheels. Um, I actually use um, some toothpicks, and I also use this uh, a gun, uh, a brass scrubber. I know you're like, what? What are you talking about? But I actually use it for the shanks that are really nasty and gummed up. I don't put a little alcohol on them, and just kind of, and just kind of try to work it slowly and lightly um, to clean out some of that gunk in the shanks. Sometimes I'll actually, uh, sometimes I'll actually uh, salt treatment the shanks. And uh, get a lot out of it that way, a lot of the nastiness. I'll actually throw in some salt and alcohol in there, keep it at about that angle so it doesn't spill out and stain your pipe, that alcohol and stuff like that. But these are the next two pipes I'm going to work on. It's, uh, it's an old Tom Howard. It's in pretty good shape. I don't know how old it is. Little, uh, it's like a little boat shaped. I'm going to start that one. I'm going to do this old custom built. So I haven't touched them yet. I'll probably go outside, sit by the fire, ream them out. There's not a lot of cake build up in them. Those are the next projects. And there's our pipe table. get a chance. Get you some of this burn down. If you see any.
order some of that McClellan AM pipe. It's supposed to be the Dunhill AM pipe or EMP pipe, early morning pipe knockoff. I found that it's firm down, at least this one, black, the, uh, black and tan. It's very similar to the uh, McClellan AM pipe. Burns down real nice. Mm, this, pipe, this pipe smokes way better now that it has a bigger, bigger shank opening. But anyway, just wish you guys a Merry Christmas, guys and gals. Tom up there in the Northwest. And Jeff up there in Canada. Mr. Pipe Smoker, Backcountry Pipes. Mr. Peterson up there in Michigan. I haven't seen a case of that on here very much. Or neither have I, I guess. I need to get a get a send a message out to him, see how he uses that bartender's friend for the for the uh, blackening of the stems. I use the bleach treatment like Dave Peterson taught. But Scratch over there in Denmark. You guys have a good Christmas. I'm gonna head outside, spend a little time with the missus, work on these pipes. You guys take care.